Hello students, this is Dr. Ben, and we'd like to get some practice using the definition of torque, force times distance times the sine of the angle between the, the force and the lever. All right, so here we've got three different situations, and we're told that in all the cases there is a hundred newton force that's applied to the rods, and we're asked to calculate the torque due to that force in each one of the cases. So really the challenge in, in this problem is figuring out what is the angles that we need to use. So in the first situation, the angle that we want is the angle between the force and the extension of the rod. And so this little angle will be 30 degrees. And so this big angle up here will be 180 minus 30. And so that will be 150 degrees. So, the, in case A, the torque produced by the force F will be positive, because it causes a clockwise rotation, F times the length of the arm times the sine of 150 degrees. So that will be plus 100 newtons times 2 meters times the sine of 150 degrees. And so that equals positive 100 Newton meters. All right, for the second case, again, we need to make sure that we find the proper angle. So the angle that we want is that one that I just drew between the extension of the, of the rod and the force. And we can see that by geometry, the angle between the rod and the horizontal is equal to 30 degrees. So the entire angle that we want for the second case would be equal to 60 degrees. So the torque produced by F is again going to be positive clockwise the force times the distance times the co the sine of the angle which is 60 degrees so we'll take our 100 times 2 times the sine of 60 and that gives us 173 newton meters all right, and then we move on to the third situation. And again, if I extend the rod and I want to find the angle between the rod and that force, it's going to be 180 minus 83 degrees. So that's going to be equal to 97 degrees. So in this case, the torque produced by the force F will be equal to the 100 Newtons. This time it's multiplied by five meters times the sine of 97 degrees and that torque should be negative because it makes the rod rotate clockwise so if we take our 100 times 5 times the sine of 97 that gives us 496 negative 496 Newton meters. All right, so again, to recap, the main skill in this problem was to find the angle between the force that we're interested in and the axis of the object. And we usually had to make an adjustment from the angle that was given in order to find that particular angle. It was 150 degrees for the first case, it was 60 degrees for the second case, and for the third case it was 97 degrees.